Okay, I did this. This is my redo of this, or not the redo of like the whole series, but take two. I made him way too OP, or all three of them, like way too OP. Like I'm talking about, I did like a whole experiment thing with the doctor, and they had you corpse. Yeah, it was it was way too OP. So yeah, that's like 20 minutes wasted. But I'm just gonna start this out with the lunch room, which I'm trying to pick the whole thing. Same thing happened. Blah 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 blah. Nothing interesting. And there's the USJ. In the USJ, instead of having one no move, there would be two no moves. All mates no move. And the three, the big three no moves. I'll go. I'll just call them like the new big three. Thank you, Todoroki and Bakugo. This one has a combined cord with fire resistance and ice resistance and explosion resistance and absorption with it. Or, I mean, stockpile. Guess what it doesn't have? It does not have water resistance. So, same thing would happen with them being split up, but Deku, in its natural habitat of water, you would just freeze the whole lake to get down all of them, walking across it with them, and yeah, Froppy and Minetta would get through that. So making it through, you can see Aizawa get attacked by the Nomu. And all that, but Izawa dodges, I would say, one of them. Then it smashes in the stomach, sending him off into a wall. But he will not have his eyes gouged out or gouged at. So this is the All Might No Moon. And Deku would step forward, dashing towards it, creating the ice arm. And he would throw, he would throw an ice beard pack. He would say ice gun maybe. And he would launch his arm forward. Which you would hit it. Which you would go into it. And all that. And he'd do this over and over. And all that. It would hurt him. But it won't take down the Nomu. Until Aizawa stands up. And he cancels his court. Aizawa is stronger in this. Since he did, he did have to do training. Where... The kids that he trained don't overpower him. So he would cancel his court for longer. And Deku would be enough time for Deku to strike at his head. All Might No Moves gone, and it leaves one more. With Deku learning that their, their brain is their weakness. So yeah. Of course, all three of them would come. And he would look over with them with them battling it and the no moves take them down them pretty much. But she sees this no moon is as strong as the other one, but it seems to have different affinities or stuff. Looking at it, he sees a vodka explosion fit it. It's absorb inside of it and you'll send it back. But she yells at Fucking Go saying it's the same as the that villain with that stockpile court, which you say okay, jumping on it, clinking in his fingers, and which is EP shot. Then Toroki would use a flash fist, punching it, putting two holes into it, or it, they were expecting two holes, is what Baka was expecting. But it would have a little nothing on it. And it would absorb this attack and send them back at each other. Flame Team Bakugo and Explosion hitting Todoroki. But they will both withstand this since they did train together. So they're probably used to their own explosions and used to each other's attacks pretty much. But yeah. So, the, this would have happened, and 
Yeah. So they would just be attacking it, and they'll be beating up. So Decky jumps in here, shooting the ice pillar at it from the sky, smashing it to the ground, and he tries to freeze it to the ground, but it would heat up and melt it, and all that. That's when he tells them to aim for the head, for the brain, which they would, but their attacks won't work. They will duck the jumps down there, taking a kick, and start beating it up with his, using his cork around his body to beat it up. But Deku usually uses his ice around his body, so his ice is not working. Even when he tried to jab him, it would break against his skin. So yeah, he will get punched, but his ice would protect him. Well, back going to the rookie, tries to attack him. Eventually, Deku would start using his water, which you would see would actually put cut marks on him, but they would regenerate too fast. So he calls for Azawa to cancel the dude's cork, which I would do. And they would combo attack this dude, creating, creating a huge glacier for Deku, and a huge water shockwave, which would hit him into the sky, putting a hole through his chest with ice in it, clinching it, which would spread apart into spikes throughout his body. Bakugo would have sent Bakugo into the road with combo with Flash Fist, an EP shot, with Kuroki creating a spear of ice and throwing it towards him, which would stab him in the neck, while Deku would be at the bottom again, and he would have kicked him with ice and water, shockwave smashing the dome on his head, hitting his brain, and would cut him in half. Killing the second Omu with Deku's leg being broken and Bakugo's arm and Todoroki's arm is burnt. So, yeah. This is the casualties, but of course, all my get there, take down the lower rank villains and get ready. The school have a whole hold down for a while, and as I would tell everybody, because he's a good teacher this time, about the sports festival coming up, before they only have two weeks to train. So yeah, this time would be given to Baku and Deku, to Roki to heal, and all that, and their healing would be done. And all that, and they'll go train. And they'll get ready for the sports festival. Sports festival. And this one, it would be a race. Which Bakugo would, of course, be on top of it instead of with everybody. Deku would be up there too, so is Chororoki. Deku would be on his board while Bakugo has his hands on the ground. And Todoroki. I would say actually be in the tube this time. Go and do the same strat and go blasting off. But when they see go, Deku would have shot off with his whole board shooting off. Buffy would have shot in the air and Todoroki would blast off with fire nice. Flinging himself in the air, and he would start spinning, the flames blasting him. New Todoroki's flame movement, instead of sliding on ice, he would fly. Why well, didn't use this in the race is since this does take, it does slow, it, he has to launch in the air, then fly forward to do it. But Deku would be on the ground while they're on the sky. Which, he would fix that, with Bakugo says that, of course, he would be on the ground, he will be higher than him. 
Look there if you would speed up. And this one you see trail of water behind them. And this is whenever a wave would appear, launch them into the air, and you'd be riding on it. And you'd just be sliding on this when they say, of course, you have to use all your power to move forward while I ride the waves like Poseidon. But yeah, pretty much since they can go flying and all that, that they pretty much beat the whole purpose of having obstacles. Okay. And all that, since deck you can wash away all the robots, they'll fly over the Grand Canyon. And the whole bomb things would be wiped away. Pretty much everything would be gone. Even the canyon, since it would be filled with water. Like, even though there's water there, people, there'd be no rope and people would just swim across or jump across on the platforms and all that, which, if the canyon wasn't too far, it'd probably be faster to swim and go across the ropes. There's no robots, robots to stop anybody. It definitely just split all the um, whole mine. But I would say, just because shakes, who would win is Deku. Since Baku and Todoroki are trying to fight, Deku didn't fight since he covered himself in water, he was inside the wave, able to breathe since he has water pushing around him, not plugging in on him. So yeah, but at the last moment, the wave would disappear with him seeing him in the water orb, which would have good attack him to get in first place, which he would blast off in, using the water behind him to blow them off course, making both of them fall to the ground, because Buck, um, sort of his flames were put out, and Buck to sweat, deck had pushed off of him, so there was no more explosions kicking up in the air. Which deck you would fall and hit the ground and slide in. Since you know deck you have to be first. Now it's the whole little race. What I'll say is deck you doesn't want to do this whole fighting with people around them and below Bakko and Todoroki. So what he does is that he does the smartest move and he does ocean. Now you just do a shockwave of waves around them in the middle, which would send all of the people that are strong enough off. Todoroki would be pushed back and his teammates would fall off. Which I don't think Todoroki was on top. Maybe he was, yeah he was. And all that. But of course it would turn into an aerial battle. Since if they're on the ground, Deku has the better has the best situation down there where Deku is and they'll be in there. And I know it's a little cheap that Hawkeye's explosions can be taken down by Deku's hydro and ventilation, but I'll say that he doesn't use it a lot. And it's very hard since he sweats a lot. And it won't be permanent. And if he looks on his guard, he will be attacked. So he doesn't do this. No, actually he does. He just swipes his hand. Taking away his sweat. Which he ignites. And he would put it on to splat it into sort of his face. Which the explosion would happen. Which would send them off into the ground. And Deku would use his water to his advantage, creating another wave, which would cover them, but they'll both break out. And Deku would be right there in the air, saying, Divine Punishment, Falling Glacier. 
went, he would land straight on. And this is your choice. If somebody's cork is water and they're, and they're standing on water, does that count? Or does it have to be the ground? I think some people would say it's a cheat and they have to, and some people would be like, technically you have to go sit on the ground. But if you take it literally, um, if he just floats in the air with his water board, is that considered hitting the ground? So yeah, I'll say it doesn't in this one. And I'll say he made like an ice board that he was on. And all that. But he drop kicked them with ice. Just slammed them into him. Next battle would be the versus Deku versus Shinsu. Of course, Deku would just end it in the first roll. Since his quirk works the best in this area, so does Todoroki. And Bako, as you could say. In any situation like this, that you lose if you get pushed out. Any quirk that goes in like a wide range area would be like the end of you. Unless you can overpower it. So that means all they have to do is send a huge attack. Which would send somebody out, out of the ring. Which that's what Deku does to send them. Flinging them in the air. And all that. He lose, he do the whole speech and tell him what happened. And he would tell him to come with them and he would bring him to Azawa. Telling Azawa the situation and said that he, sh you should be a good teacher for him. Everything else, Baku and Todoroki, since they have a high grip, they don't think they're better than everybody, but what they do, oh my god, what they do is that they end matches versus weak people in one big shot. This is what they do. Got this noise. Sorry about that. So everybody would end the same with you just knocking everybody out. And yeah. Todoroki versus Deku. It'll just end up with Todoroki going full out. And instead of Todoroki's flames being put out by Deku, they would burn away Deku's water. And Deku would be impressed by this. And he. Todoroki would send a huge attack towards them in the right foot area. Well, Deku would raise his hand, creating a water blade, swinging it down. And what would happen is that he would divide the flame in the eyes. With Cementos putting up that whole barrier thing, which would be split away. But who would be standing there with no burns or scratches is Deku with a water blade that's inside the ground with the rain area where his blade is going outwards completely destroyed. Of course, this would make Deku very tired. And he only has uh, how long it's going to take Bakugo to defeat somebody, which it wouldn't take long since he knows that Bakugo is trying to um, widespread dest destroy everybody how they were. So he would go to cover girls and what he would do is grab, he, no, 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 he would grab, you know, Dinky and he's going to take him and He's going to take him, he's going to shock him, awake, with a slap, and tell him if he has anything that can get him energized. Which, he says that my quirk doesn't work that way, and all that. And he says, yeah, probably not. But Deku would walk up there, drinking, I'll say energy drinks by the second giving him a sugar rush that he got from sugar rush the dude got some cake 
which people see him eating it and drinking it all bunch of stuff. So, which the president might say, why is he eating and drinking so much? And then she drinks some sugar and all that. Of course, as I always say, that I knew him for a long time. What if he does a white, a huge move that instantly defeats him? Even as a kid, he had lose a whole bunch of energy. And since his match is right afterwards, he's probably trying to get as much energy as he can inside of him. And, yeah. He would finish the last two liter. And you get ready. So, after finishing it, he would walk out. Still looking tired. And, yeah. And I'll say that they both request, all three of them requested to use their whole hero suits out there and all that. And of course, President Mike would say that, but they never used it unless they were against each other. And yeah. And of course, as always says, this is probably because their support items they probably have on them, which I don't know all of them, they probably would use against each other. But yeah. With Becky walking out with a scarf and um, Baco having a scarf around his waist and down his leg. And let's start off with Becky swinging his scarf around like a Zawa. If it Chris might saying, did you train them how to use scarves? How long do you know these kids? And as I would say, since Deku was around five and Bakugo and Toroki around whenever they're nine. So yeah. But you use these to use high speed attacks with Bakugo taking a scarf and he would swing his leg. Bakugo has, instead of just using his pants for everything, he has used his scarf by using his legs. Which is go try to attack Deku. Deku dodge it. And Press Mike says, why does he dodge that? And he'd say, wait, with the smirk smack, smack in the ground, causing an explosion. With Deku's scarf go and attack Bakugo. Bakugo dodge, but it hit Bakugo and it caused a cut to appear. Deku's using the less tire and smooth that he can do. And that's just using his scarf as like a sharp blade. He'll be using this and Bakugo will be trying to explode him. But Bakugo knows that if he gets too close, Bakugo's gonna, um, Deku's gonna use that scarf to completely cut him open. With as I was saying that this is one of the most tiring ability, but with him using it correctly, if somebody gets too close, he can cut somebody in half. And he can use a scarf as a, a cutting barrier. So yeah, that's why Bakugo's only using a scarf. If he tries to charge him with an explosion, he's cut. But yeah, of course, Deku's gonna launch one attack, swing away, which would hit Bakuyo, splashing him and freezing him a little bit. But Bakuyo knows that he'd break out of this. So he's why would you waste your energy on using that? That was dumb. That's when Deku would launch up in the air with. Or have ice appear on his feet, all that. And Bakuyo will be splashed in the back by the wave again, launching him into the water. And he's like, Why is there so much water everywhere? Which I'll say it'd be a foot high. And Deku would pull out three tasers. 
what he did before this is that he knew if I, he used a regular taser against Rocky Film, it wouldn't work. So he got a amped up taser by Dinky at a million bolts into it. Or a million bolts put in, not to each one, but divided into three of them. That he would throw in the air. If Fuck you saying you think your three tasers can take me down. Those are only for people that you want don't want to harm too much. They would hit the ground, which lightning would appear everywhere across it, which would make Bakio pass out, smacking into the water. Of course, he would pull back them before they because they're all dead by now. So he gives us a one-shot charge. So yeah. Crowd would go silent for a second and kind of yell out, which uh, would be looking at each other because they're not sure if it's fair because they use a torch and all that. But of course, as I would explain what happened to everybody, Saying that Deku took the smart way into it, since he knew using that big attack against Todoroki would drain most of his energy, he used his least drain to attack, and he covered the ground with water for this. Whenever you watch that wave, he put the water higher up, and he knew that if he used his um, Tasers, he could shock them a little bit, but I'm wondering what happened to those tasers, why they were so strong. And of course, people would question that, and Midnight would. That's when he says, before the match, I modified my tasers with one of the, one of the support hero classes. Um, I forgot the court, I forgot the name. But, and I went to Dinky, one of the plus one A members with electric quirk, which he can shoot one million volts, but that's it, his 100% charge, and his brain would be fried. And I hooked them up to, I hooked them up to all three of the tasers, and I did, I made him, he did it, charging them all together with evenly a million bolts all together. So when I threw them on into the water, Bakio was just shocked by one million bolts throughout the water several times. And that guaranteed me the win. You know that? So yeah. You named the winner. All my, they would say that all my doing some hair work or doing something, since All Might doesn't want to waste any of his energy on trying to give rewards out. So yeah, since, oh no, that didn't happen in this one. That was me whenever I made them way too OP. But he would give the rewards out in this one. And yeah, this would be the end of the sports festival. See you guys later.